Well, hello, and welcome to my latest video, Men's Health Update. Yes, you're desperate to know the latest, of course you are. Well, regular viewers of this channel will know that uh, some months ago now, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and I was uh, told that I couldn't have surgery, so I had to have radiotherapy, and I told you about that in the first video, and I've now had two sessions of, of radiotherapy, and you want to know all the gory details, of course you do. Well, the first thing to say, is that in the last video I said that I was told I had to have seven and a half weeks of radiotherapy five days a week, not including bank holidays and weekends because cancer takes a rest then, but in fact they then phoned me and said we've decided you only need four weeks and I said am I special because I need four weeks, am I not long for this world and that's why you've decided well why spend the money on seven and a half weeks of radiotherapy ain't going to be around to benefit from it so we're going to cut it down to four weeks well actually I don't know the reason but anyway they've cut it down to four weeks and I have now had two sessions so you want to know all of the details well first of all uh, it takes place at the hospital I won't tell you which hospital not for any particular reason because I am having really good uh, care there but I'm just uh, keeping that quiet for a moment anyway so you turn up at the hospital and there's two things that are necessary in order to have radiotherapy for prostate cancer. And that is you've got to have an empty bowel and a relatively full bladder, not entirely full bladder. So you have to get there about an hour or so before your appointment. So my first appointment was on Thursday. I got there actually about an hour and a half before. And they say to you, OK, when you arrive, you go straight into the toilet and you give yourself an enema. OK, now, if you are uh, a little bit squeamish or you don't know, want, to want, want to know all the details about that, but you go in the toilet, you pull your pants down, you put the enema up, you ask, you squeeze it, the tube releases some fluid into your bottom and that makes you go to the toilet sometimes straight away sometimes it takes a little while anyway so you go in the toilet you have your enema and then you wait around you do your shit and hopefully you have emptied your bowel okay and then you wait and then they come out about half an hour 45 minutes or so before your actual appointment and they said okay have you done have you done your rectum and you say yes boss and they say, OK, now uh, you can go to the toilet, you can empty your bladder, and then we're going to give you some water to drink. So you go to the toilet, you try and empty your bladder, and then they give you about 350 ml of water to drink. And the idea is that you drink it all down uh, in one go. And if you are properly hydrated, then what's happened, what happens is that that uh, water goes to your bladder, it fills up your bladder to the requisite amount, and then within about half an hour, 40 minutes or so, they can take you in. Uh, to the uh, radiotherapy unit and you have the radiotherapy it actually only takes about 10 minutes so Thursday was my first session and it went fine I uh, had my enema, emptied my rectum and then the lights gone off oh, that is. Um, emptied my rectum and uh, then oh, the light was flashing isn't this weird is this something to do with my prostate cancer? Anyway, emptied my rectum, had my drink, went on the slab, had my uh, radiotherapy, takes about 10 minutes, and that's it, Bob's your uncle, I was sorted. Now, Friday was my second session, and this uh, the Thursday session, by the way, was in the evening at 7 o'clock. Friday session was in the morning, around about 11 o'clock, uh, 11.30, that was due. So I got to the hospital about uh, quarter past 10, went upstairs, went to the toilet, had my enema, uh, emptied my bowel, or so I thought, and then the um, radiographer came out and said, OK, you can drink your water. So I drank my water, and then around about 11.30, bang on time, by the way, they took me in, laid me on the slab, machine got to work. Now, what they do, first of all, is they do a scan, OK, and what they, um, sorry, they do an ultrasound first, to check that there was sufficient fluid in your bladder. But then they do a scan. It was a power cut. Uh, anyway, power's come back on, so here I am again. So they do the scan, and the first scan checks to see that your bowel is empty. So yesterday, which was Friday when I had my 11.30 appointment, got in there around about uh, half past 11. I'm on the uh, on the slab, on the table, as it were. They do the scan. And then I'm, I'm lying there for about 10 minutes, about 15 minutes, and nothing happens. And of course, all the radiographers, they're not in the room because they don't want to get, the, you know, the, radi the radiotherapy, do they? I mean, can you blame them? So I'm lying there, there's nothing happening. I'm thinking, well, I think they've gone home, they've gone to lunch, whatever it is. Anyway, a lady comes in, she says, your rectum's too full. Uh, it's uh, not good to do it. It's going to cause you problems. So you're going to have to go to the toilet and try and get a bit, a bit more of the poo that's in your bun. So I'm, I mean, that's what I need. So you get off the um, uh, the table. I'm still in my gown, by the way. You have to be naked from, from the waist down. You can wear your clothes on the upper half, but 
they put one of those hospital gowns in, so you shuffle off the table, you get into the toilet, you shove another thing up your ass, and you have to flip the floor. But of course, having done that, what happens when you have a shit? It's probably the same thing what happens when I have a shit, that is, you might have a piss. So of course you've had a piss, and then your bladder is empty, and they can't do this game because your bladder's empty. So you've done your rectum, so they bring you some more water. So you can fill up your bladder sufficiently, but that's going to take time, you see. So you've got to wait. And while you're waiting for your bladder to fill up, of course they're seeing other patients. So then you're kind of, you're, you're sitting there like this and you're shuffling around on your seat because you're wearing this gown, you're wearing your socks, you're naked from your waist down, you look like, like a bite to you, you're drinking water, you're worrying about your ass, you're worrying about your bladder, you're thinking, oh Christ, how did I get What did I do? God, that I deserve prostate cancer. Oh, it's a solid postcard if you want. Anyway, so, uh, uh, so anyway, I had to wait. And as it happened, I didn't actually get on the table till about quarter to one. Having got onto the table, it, as I said, it happened in about 10 minutes and then anyway, it sorted. So the thing about the radiotherapy is it happens very quickly. Uh, everything is sorted out so long as your prep is done, guys. So if you are about to have radiotherapy, take it from me. If you can get your prep sorted, I'm not, I'm not sure how much you can do um, I, I, want, I want to kind of up my fibre intake, so I'm going to the toilet regularly, and I'm fairly regularly generally, so I want to up my fibre intake, so I'm going to the toilet regularly, so I'm getting rid of that shit, that I'm well hydrated during the day, not too hydrated, so that when it comes to the time, I can get in there around about an hour before my appointment, I do my shit, I do my water, I do my radiotherapy, and then I'm good to go. Now, the other thing, of course, is you're sitting around in, in the waiting room, and, and you look around, of course, they're, all, they're not all old guys, but they're mostly old guys. They're mostly old guys from about my age. And of course, we've all got in common. We've all got fucking prostate cancer. So we'll sit there like that, you know. And uh, the little conversations crop up. You know, where's your weed? Oh, you know, you've done your shit, you know. And of course, you know, again, you see somebody disappear into the toilet. And you think, I oh, know what you're doing. And they go... And then they come out and everybody, you know, like when you're on the tube in London, like no, nobody talks to you, everybody sits there with their head down because everyone's embarrassed, you see. Well, not, I mean, we're not, we're not embarrassed because we've all got cancer, we know it's all about shit, it's all about peace, you know, you, you can't get any reaction, you've got prostate cancer, you know, life has, life has dealt you these cards, you see, but they say, I'm well, I'm well into, now I'm into recycling, I'm, I'm into reusing, I'm into uh, re whatever it's called, I'm into reincarnation. I'm going I'm I'm to to come back as a bloke who doesn't have prostate cancer. How's that? Let's, let's, let's see if there is a God and he's going to look after Julian somehow. I, somehow I don't think he is. Anyway, I have got uh, 20 sessions of radiotherapy i've had two sessions i've got 18 more to go oh and the other thing is they give you they give you your appointments and when i first saw the doctor i said look I, because i go to work like right, can i have appointments in the evening it's really important to me that i can sort it around my work and they said yeah 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 no problem we'll do that. anyway so they give you your appointments and he said well most of these are during the day i said well i did say can i have them in the evening oh did you know the doctor never told me he said oh God. So then they give you a new set of appointments, and these ones are not right. So I said, look, can you please sort these appointments out? So I got back home, phoned them up, I said, look, can you please change these appointments? And actually, they said they have done it. So hopefully when I go back in uh, day after tomorrow, which is Monday, by the way, Monday the, um, is it the 20th? Might be the 20th of April, and my appointment then is in the evening, five past seven. Hopefully I'll find that the rest of my appointments in the evening. And that will, because I don't, you know, if it's delayed because of the arse and the piss problems, you know, then um, do, do you ask? They say, don't wait to be asked. There's a little joke there if you think about it. Um, anyway, if it's in the evening and it gets, it gets delayed, well, that, that's okay. I don't mind. It's a pain, but, you know, it's not their fault. But if it's in the, in the morning and I'm supposed to be at work and then it is delayed because I'm not sorted, my prep isn't done, well, then that's going to be uh, extra stressful. So, so far, uh, so good. One session went smoothly. Second session didn't go so smoothly. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, future sessions will go smoothly. And there you are, guys. Um, if you want to leave any comments or ask me any questions or you're, you're, you're worried about uh, prostate cancer, I mean, I, am I worried? I'm not worried about it. 
actually. I, I suppose, should I be? I mean, it, it's treatable. And the idea of these 20 sessions of radiotherapy is that it gets rid of the, the prostate cancer. I continue to take the medicine, which suppresses the testosterone, which has got the side effects, which I think I covered in the last video. And then I'll be clear of it. So, you know, fingers crossed, it, it's okay. I'm on a pathway. It's going to get sorted. I know not everybody does get sorted. And if you're in a situation where you've got prostate cancer and you've been told, you know, it's spread beyond the prostate and it's, it's not good news for you, then I'm, I'm really sorry about that. But if you are, if you are somebody who is uh, 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 told that your PSA is higher, you've got an appointment with a doctor, you're really worried that you've got prostate cancer, that it's going to mean the end of, of all things. Um, I, I just want to say to you, well, actually, no, you know, don't. Don't worry about it so much. Um, you're, you're probably going to be one of the lucky ones. Everything's going to be fine. If you're not, as I say, I'm, I'm very sorry and, and I wish you all the best and, and so forth. But, you know, uh, prostate cancer is, is, is for most people curable. And uh, there are some side effects, but it's not too bad. And as everybody always says, if you're going to get cancer, prostate cancer is one of the ones to get. So there you are. So uh, men's health update, there's the latest for you. We're desperate to know. And uh, as I say, if you've got any questions or if you want to make any comments, please leave them down below. In the meantime, I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, I haven't done a lot of videos lately, but, um, you know, I, I, I make videos when I feel like it. So, um, you know, if, if, if you're waiting around for them and you want more, then you know, let me know. I always like a little bit of encouragement. So, uh, uh, yeah, take care. Um, and uh, all the best. And see you next time.